Bonjour my fellow dude and dudettes and this video I've got a humdinger for you. Basically the lockdown's pretty much ended in the, here in England and the hippie shops are open up so I went to my local hi hippie shop and I brought, um, this is a subscriber that follows me called Malram, I think that's your name, and he was saying something about um, how in Hot Topic they used to sell this. Vampire blood. I actually found it. I found vampire blood, so I'm going to give this a go. And I uh, also found something called black rose. And I thought these are pretty goffy. These are pretty goffy sort of like alternative sort of like incense. So I thought I might do an, like an incense theme. And I don't really know it any um, goths. So I was never goth myself. I was more into like Britpop, you know, and grunge as well, like you know, Oasis, Blur, Nirvana, Pearl Jam, Alice in Chains. I was more into that. I wasn't really into like you know like. His name, like Wednesday 13, Murder Dolls, all really into the goth stuff. But I thought, oh no, I'll put the F out, I might do a little goth theme for you guys tonight. And I don't really know it, I'm not friends with any goths, oh, I wasn't really. I only met um, one goth once, and that was way back, uh, a few, loads, like, over, like when I was younger, like 18, 19, 18, maybe? I think it was 18. And my workmates wanted to, uh, there's a band that was playing at a local club called The Joiners, and um, I think, what are they called? I can't remember what they're called. They had a female singer. What are they called? I think it's called My Ruin. I don't think it was like a, like a goth band. I think it's more like heavy metal punk. It was, the band was called My Ruin. And uh, my mates were with me. But it's like goth girls. So I like dancing with me. It's like bumping into me. Like trying to get onto it. I was like, oh man, I don't really into this. I don't really know how to talk to girls. Because like I went to like a Catholic school. I went to an all boys Catholic school. So I don't really know how to talk to girls. But like, you know, she was like bumping into me and talking to me and shit like that. And like, my go uh, at any end of the gig, my guys, the guys were like, they, they fucked off. And they like, oh, <laughs> like, was like, oh, right, I'll, I'll deal with this. And I was like, off the walk around, because I'm a gentleman. So like, <laughs> I, was, <laughs> I was walking around, right? I can't believe I'm telling you guys this. I was walking around, right? And um, this is like one or two o'clock in the morning, right? I was walking around. And then she turned around and she kissed me. And I, it was like one of my first kiss, and I got a little stonk on. <laughs> Oh my god, I like I can't believe the girls kissed me. And like and then she like she like obviously knew I was getting a stonk on and like she, she took my hand, took me round beyond these like houses which like for like home like old people, like retirement home. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. And then she gave me a blowy. I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, cool man. But I was like afterwards I, I like started walking around again and I was like, um because I never asked to go out before, so I was like uh, do you want to go for a coffee? Because that's what that's what he's saying in films. Do you want to go for a coffee? And she's like, I've got a boyfriend. I was like, oh really? I was like, yeah. He, she was like, he's 28. I was like, what the fuck? Mate, you're kiss you're like getting off with an 18 year old. You got a 28 year old boyfriend. He's gonna find me and kill me. But he never found me and killed me, obviously, because I'm still here. But um, yeah, that, that's my experience with goths or vamps. This is before email music. This is like 2006, maybe. So email is like coming up or whatever. But um, but yeah, she was a goth. And uh, so yeah, I bought these two. So I'm going to do a goth... Is that the right way around? Vampire blood. Yeah, black rose. So black rose, vampire blood. blood. So I'm going to do a goth video. But first, we need to do an edit. Because I need to dress up as a goth. So here's an edit. Three, two, one, go. It's not in focus. Welcome back, guys. Get in focus. It's in focus. It's in focus. There we go. Welcome back, guys. As you can see, I am now a goth, but it's not black and white. It's black and white now. Now we got true goth vision. And as we all know, goths also smoke a shit ton of fags. So... Oh my God, people don't understand me, man. Life is so dark. If life is so wonderful, why does every rose have a thorn? Oh my God, I hate life. Life is so dark. I read Edgar Allan Poe. Oh my God. And uh, my uh, my alter alias is um, Vincent Black. I'm not Sam Tranner as the uh, other guy. I am Vincent Black. So we are going to review Vampire Blood second. I don't know. Yeah, let's, let's do it second. Let's review Black Rose first. Uh, Black Rose, sorry. Let's read. Let's do Black Rose first. Black Rose first. So let me get my stuff. Get it there. Let's bring you down. So, here we go. Black Rose. Has it got any blurbs? Yeah, it does actually. 
a good fragrance is really a powerful cocktail of memories and emotion indulge. Is this for memorizing, mesmerizing fragrance of black rose? Well, do roses have a scent? I don't really know. I, I don't use lots of hands, a lot of roses. I love lavender. I think about doing a um. I think about doing a uh, video about lavender because lavender is one of my favourite scents. I love lavender because, like, when I was growing up, we had, oh, that's a nice colour. That's really bright, actually. Like, literally, like, I'll show you my little pot of incense where I keep all my incense out doing these videos. Uh, here we go. Look, these, most of these scents, and look, they're pretty much all very dark, except the um, Zam Zams. I think there's a few down there that are quite bright, but that's quite a bright sort of colour. But. Um, yeah, what's, what's the same? But yeah, these are these are quite a bright colour. These are quite nice. These are, these are, must be handmade. These are really nice. Let me, let me get a little sniff. Oh, that is nice. That's really powerful. Black rose. It does smell like a rose. I've had... See, the thing is, I'm going to be quiet here because my landlord lives here, right? But my landlord, he, like, he goes to like, posh shops and he buys like really nice stuff. And um, one time, right, he had something called um, rose water. And it's like a cordial, which is like Ribena or whatever you have in like America or whatever. And I, I was like, oh, I'll have some rose water, right? I tasted it, and it was the most fucking nicest thing ever. Rose water tastes so nice, and that's what, that's what it smells like. It's a very distinctive smell, it doesn't smell like anything else. It's very sweet, but not overbearing. But yeah, that is nice, that is really nice. That pre-smell is really good, I ain't gonna lie. Right, so let's give this a little burn. It, is this ha it must be handmade. That that is really like commodity incense, um, net content 50 grams, made in India. They're always they're, the good stuff's always made in India. It's made by uh, can you read that New Moon um, New Moon Aromas. That's the um, that's the uh, website. And uh, I don't think it's been tested on rabbits. It's recyclable. What is that? Uh, don't throw it away. What's that mean? Does anyone know what that means? What does that mean? I don't know, just maybe it's recycling. Anyway, let's get on a bit. The, the pre-smell smells really nice. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. This smells really nice. Really, really sweet. Really rosy. And um, let's give it a blast. Oh, it's gone off. Hang on. I've never tried these ones before. Who is it made by? It's made by, uh, yeah, New Moon Ar Ar Aromans. New, Ruma, New Moon Aromans. I've never done New Moon Aromans. New, new moon aromas. It's a bit of a tongue twister. There we go. Let's give it a whiff. Let's bring it a bit closer so it's in the camera a bit more. Guys, I ain't gonna lie. This is really good. This is really good. That's really nice. Because do you know, like when you first burn it, you get that like um, the carbon monoxide smell. But this goes straight into the um, the, 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 the it's more if. What's the word? Ethereal, ethereal. It's really light, but the sweetness is still there. It's really nice. It's very rosy. Because I, I, I don't think roses really have a smell, but rose water has a taste. Now, I've tasted rose water, and this, the smell, the smell, the taste of rose water smells like this. So, you know, you're getting what roses should smell like from this. That is really nice. That is really nice, actually, especially after smell. You know what I mean? Because like when you got incense, you get that pre-smell out of your nose, and then you get it out the back of your throat, and that's like this like the second sort of like stage of the incense. But that is really nice. I'm 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 gonna have to give that like a like a strong nine. That's a very good, that's a very good incense. But yeah, if you're out and about and you find black rose, give it a go, man. That's very sweet. If you want like a sweet sort of ethereal light sort of like smell, it's not very dank. It's not very heavy. It's very, like like I said, ethereal, light, you know, tingly. But that is nice, it's there, it's nice, it's very nice. But yeah, that's that. But yeah, I'm gonna give that a nine. Black rose is nine. I don't know why they put black in it for some reason. It just smells like a normal rose. I don't think I've ever seen a black rose unless it's on some sort of like, you know, like metal album cover. So, yeah, uh, that's that. And um, next one is gonna be, it's a bit wonky. There we go. Next one is going to be Vampire Blood. Vampire Blood. And I've never smelt blood. I've tasted blood because, you know, sometimes you cut yourself and you know, lick it. And it's got like a, like a salty spoon. But, um, it's from my goth hair. And, um, it tastes like, a, like, it's like, like salty. Like, I think, like, 
taste of blood is quite salty. I don't drink blood, obviously, I'm not a vampire. I'm not a vegetarian, I'm, I, I eat meat. But, um, but yeah, I don't know, I don't know what this is, this is going to smell like. It's like Dragon's Blood. Dragon's Blood is one of my most popular videos on YouTube, which is weird, because yeah, I think it's like called Dragon's Blood vs Dragon's Blood, and it's got like, like a thousand views or whatever. But people really into Dragon's Blood. I, I didn't know what Dragon's Blood was going to smell like, but apparently people really like um, Dragon's Blood. So, um, yeah, let's give this a go. Ow. Let's put that out. Um, it's mastery. So yeah, let's give um, Vampire's Blood a um, good go. Hopefully it's got a little blurb on it. Because I don't read the blurbs before I um, do these videos because I like to have like a um, like a natural like reaction to it. But I'm pretty sure it has a blurb on it. So, there you go. Vampire's Blood. We're going into a colour mode right now. Colour mode. There we go. So it's red and black. Get out of colour mode. Go back into goth mode. There we go. And uh, yeah. Um, Vampire Blood, Incense, um, who is it made by? Stick, cones, oils and soaps are a unique blend of rare herbs, flowers, resins and essential oils. When you use Devil's Garden product, I guess it's made by Devil's Garden, uh, the natural aroma will relax and lighten you. All the ingredients contained in this product are purely organic, natural, non-toxic and ozone friendly. Well, Greta, Fun Gre Greta Funderburg would be happy with this. That's nice to say. Um, what's that say? Oh, here we go. A little blurb on it. That's nice. Vampire blood is high. <laughs> Can you see that? Yeah, he's in focus. Vampire blood is harvested through an advanced process in which vampires are slowly bled. Is it like vampire blood black? Because like, if you're a vampire, obviously your heart ain't beating. So obviously your um, blood isn't getting auctioned, auctionized. So there's no, I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm questioning the science behind incense sticks. That's called vampire blood. Let's, let's just read. Let's just go. The unearthly qualities of the blood are isolated and extracted into a premium product. Some vampires were harmed during this process, but none met true death. This is a rare premium extract of vampire blood that is sure to heighten the senses and create inner <laughs> sensations of Nirvana. I don't think I can enjoy Nirvana if I know that vampires are being bled dry in some sort of, uh, like, you know, some sort of, you know, that guy, what's it called, Blade. I love the film Blade. Yeah, Blade's just there, you know, extracting va black vampire blood, but it's, you know, advertised as red. You can't see it's red, it's black and white at the moment. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that's a pretty funny blurb. It's a bit like the, um, that video I did. I think it's called um, Zombie Repellent. I did one called Zombie Repellent. It's quite funny. So, you know, this is more like a comedy sort of um, sort of um, product. That's fine. I don't mind. Let's move these out of the way. Let's put these in my little pot. I don't think I've got much room left in my pot, to be honest, guys. Dudes and dudettes. There you go. Oh, this is quite different. Yeah, that's nice. So, yeah, let's open this up. It is your uh, standard size incense, this is. Is it red? Yeah, oh, these are quite funny. Yeah, so like, you know, so you've got your standard colour there, but the bottoms are red, so that's quite nice. It's quite original. So, and give us this. Oh, wow. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that's amazing. Um, it smells like, didn't it when you go into a club for the first, like, when you, when you go to a club before anyone else gets in, it's got that, like, nice sort of, like, like, smell of, like, um, like, flat, like, like someone's used disinfectant, but not, like, so chemically. It's like walking into a club. That's what it smells like. It's like walking into a nice upmarket club. That's what it smells like. No wonder people like this so much. It has a really nice smell to it. That is really nice. It smells, it smells like walking into an upmarket club. So that's what it smells like. You know what I mean? Like where, like, you know, the babes are, or dudettes or whatever, they're wearing like really nice perfume. If you go into an upmarket place, that is nice. That is really nice. Look, look how like my hands are like dusted from it. You know it's handmade. You know it's a good product if it's like you know coming off in your hand. But like, I did this video. I know I keep going on about it called scent. Like this product called scent wraps was made in America, made by machines, and they have just horrible like incense. You're, like it wasn't coming off. It was like a thick, solid like incense stick, and it didn't smell of anything. It smelled of chemicals. But this is really nice. I ain't gonna lie. Um, if you're watching Malaram, thanks for your little advice about vampire blood. That's really nice. I smell on my fingers because it just smells so good. So 
this this might be another 10. I know I give away quite a lot of 10s in this, but I'm just trying to be honest with you guys. I'm just trying to give you my best uh, my best um, impressions of these, my best uh, review sort of thing. Because I've tried looking up re like incense reviews online, and there's not many of them. I don't think it's hardly any. I think most of them are just like witches and Wiccans and pagans and stuff, but I'm not a pagan. I'm just some guy who works in the fruit industry. I sell fruit and veg. That's my job. Anyway, there you go. There you go. Get rid of the carbon monoxide. But yeah, oh, that is nice. That is nice. It's very, I wouldn't say sweet. But it, but it is like a like a danky like a like a danky. But like I, when usually when I talk about like danky smells, like it sounds like I'm using it in a prerogative term, but I'm not because I like dank smells. You know what I mean? If you've used satia, you know that dank sort of like generic smell. But that undercurrent isn't as strong as satia. It's more it's more lighter. But yeah, that smells like a really like upmarket nightclub when you walk in for the first time and you get like a whiff of like you know the like lot of perfumes. But yeah, I, I understand why you Americans. Like apparently, this used to be sold in like hot topic. Hot, hot topic. We never had hot topic here in England, where I live. But you know, I, if they sold this, I understand why you like this vampire blood. It doesn't smell like anything like like flowers or like cleaning products or soaps or anything like that. It's more like sweeter. But yeah, that is really good. I'm gonna give that a ten. I'm thinking I might use this again. That is really nice, actually. Yeah, I'm giving that a 10. That's brilliant. Vampire Blood, brilliant. This has been a really good video, guys. I've I've two great products here. Black Rose, I found it at 9. Vampire Oh my god, I don't want to burn the house down. Um, yeah, so there we go. Uh, which way up? That, yeah. Vampire Blood and um, Black Rose. Yeah, Black, I think Black Rose is a 9. Vampire Blood is a 10. Brilliant products, by the way. And, um... Yeah, I hope you like this video. And um, uh, I've got two other incense coming up. Hang on, let me get this up. I've got, let me just get this up. Am I, am I even in focus here? There we go. Get, get a bit up. But yeah, I've got my hair's everywhere, man. I hate being a goth. I used to have long hair, but like not this crack. I look like Russell Brand on crack. But um, yeah, I've got two other incenses. Uh, I don't know where they are. But yeah, one of them's called. Uh, what is it called? Where is it? Where's my incense? Oh, here it is. I found it. Yeah, I've got uh, angel dust. The right up there, and another one, which is quite strange. I don't know what this is going to smell like. It's going to be quite exciting. Gold coin. What do gold coins to smell like? I don't know. But, um, yeah, so that, that's going to be next video next. Uh, Angel Dust and Gold Coin. And if you like the video, thanks, man. I don't never ask for subscribers. I don't want, you know, if you want to subscribe, that's fine. But, um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for the video. My name's Vincent Black, and uh, see you next time. Goodbye.